Okay, here's another video that will just show you exactly how much uh, Mechatromer's repairs have made a difference. This is the standard output from the Hantech software. As you can see, that uh, at a roughly set at, at the, at the at the setting of 7.5 megahertz, the um, the uh, sync signal is at a different frequency, 7.695, and the uh, and the uh, sine wave is at uh, the 7.5 uh, megahertz, and they're not in sync. As you can see, it wobbling all over the place. Not only that, the sync signal, as you can see on the top, is tending to shift and jerk around. Uh, that's the yellow one on the top, shifting all over. Anyway, I'm going to apply Mechatromer's repairs. Boom. Fucking awesome. So, um, it's not so much that the um, the uh, the actual um, frequency has improved, but now the, um, uh, the output frequency is now in sync with the sync signal, which is a lot better, because now that you can see the waveforms are very stable. So now let's push it all to the top. And we're going to bring it up to 75 uh, to the maximum frequency as uh, supposed to be supported. I'm going to remove Mechatromer's repairs. And as you can see, here we go again. And you can see no, no synchronization all over the place. 100 megahertz on the top and 75 megahertz on the bottom. I apply Mechatromer's repairs. Boom. And we're now, re we're now in sync. Both are at 100 megahertz. We can, of course, adjust it, bring it down to 75, 7.5, or rather, uh, 7.5 megahertz. And we're in sync. Now, this started off with the goofy setting of the original Hantech software. That's why the actual frequency is slightly off. But if you use a Mechatromer stuff from the, from the get-go, uh, it won't be so, uh, you'll, uh, what you type is what you get. Thank you.